the main liturgy and then a smaller booklet for the communion prayer. But everything should be there if you prefer that. Welcome all wonders in one sight, eternity shut in a span, summer in winter, day in night, heaven in earth, and God in a man. Great little one whose all-embracing birth brings earth to heaven, stoops heaven to earth. Please stand as we sing. I bring you good news of great joy. A Saviour has been born to you. Alleluia. Unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. Alleluia. Hear the words of St. Luke. When the angels had gone from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. 
So they hastened and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. He is Christ the Lord. Alleluia. We worship and adore him. Alleluia. Christ, the light of the world, has come to dispel the darkness of our hearts. Let us turn to the light and confess our sins. Lord of grace and truth, we confess our unworthiness to stand in your presence as your children. We have sinned. Forgive and heal us. The Virgin Mary accepted your call to be the mother of Jesus. Forgive our disobedience to your will. We have sinned. Forgive and heal us. Your Son, our Saviour, was born in poverty in a manger. Forgive our greed and rejection of your ways. We have sinned. Forgive and heal us. The shepherds left their flocks to go to Bethlehem. Forgive our self-interest and lack of vision. We have sinned. Forgive and heal us. The wise men followed the star to find Jesus the King. Forgive our reluctance to seek you. We have sinned. Forgive and heal us. May the God of all healing and forgiveness draw you to himself, that you may behold the glory of his Son, the Word made flesh, and be cleansed from all your sins. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. If you're comfortable to do so, please stand as we sing of God's glory. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for us pray in the peace of this Christmas celebration that our joy in the birth of Christ will last forever. Eternal God, who made this most holy night to shine with the brightness of your one true light, bring us who have known the revelation of that light on earth to see the radiance of your heavenly glory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Do be seated for our first reading.
This is from Isaiah 52, verses 7 to 10. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news, who proclaim peace, who bring good tidings, who proclaim salvation, who say to Zion, your God reigns. Listen, your watchmen lift up their voices. Together they shout for joy when the Lord returns to Zion, but they will see it with their own eyes. Burst into songs of joy together, your ruins of Jerusalem, for the Lord has comforted his people, he has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord will lay bare his holy arm in the sight of all the nations, and all the ends of the earth will see the salvation of our God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And if you're comfortable, please stand for our gospel. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision or a husband's will, but born of God. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Loving God, may we open our hearts and minds to you afresh and anew this Christmas time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please do be seated. So the waiting is almost over. The day is almost here. There is nothing quite like the moment before we receive that gift that we always wanted. We know we're going to get it. We asked for it. We can see it lying there under the tree. It's the right shape. Makes the right sound when we shake it. It's the right size. Perfect. The excitement is almost unbearable. And at Christmas time, the atmosphere adds to the sense of anticipation, like the whole world around us is colluding in the story that is being told. The darkness of the world in winter, then the sharp twinkly lights or candles begin to pierce the edges of the dark, like pinpricks in the fabric of the world. There's a sense that the show is about to begin. The lights go dark, 
there's a hush in the theatre. All eyes are on the stage. Something is going to happen. The people of Israel, the people who were told, arise, shine, for your light has come, were a people who were waiting for a very long time. They were waiting for a day, a day when they were to receive the thing that they had asked for over and over again. They were a people who really did walk in darkness in a time when they lived oppressed and downtrodden. The light that they hoped for, the gift that they desired more than anything else, was for God to come and put things right. The world was not as it should be, and they waited for God. God was the gift they would receive. But the years, the decades, the centuries passed, and the people of Israel, well, they still waited, but they had waited so long that they struggled to see their hope come to life that very moment, even if it was right in front of their eyes, they had lost hope. The day that they had been waiting for was about to arrive, but most continued to walk in darkness, their hope just a small red glow on a wick almost burnt out. But the signs were there, the pinpricks of light were beginning to come to life. A new world was invading, and for those who caught sight of these pinpricks, just out of the corner of their eyes, they were enough. They were a small breath on a smoldering ember, and suddenly hope was alight again. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answers. May your word be to me fulfilled. The shepherds say to one another, let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened which the Lord has told us about. The Magi ask Herod, where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. And so into the darkness, Voices rise and begin to tell the story again. God is real. God is here. In a world where we are still waiting for things to be put right, it can be tough to live in hope. And sometimes hope feels very frail indeed. We can feel like the people of Israel then, that all is darkness and hope is almost burnt out. And we think, particularly this year, of those in the same land, Israel, Palestine, who are all waiting for a miracle. Hope seems distant, and yet, and yet. Perhaps there are signs of a new world invading this one. Pinpricks of light for those who will see. Those little kindnesses which surprise us. The deep generosity that we hear about occasionally and sometimes experience for ourselves. When we are feeling 
hopeless, we can find ourselves asking for God's help, even if we're not sure of whose help we're asking. God's answer to that innermost cry, that desire of all humanity to know our Creator and our purpose, was to come and experience all it is to be human, the joys and the pains, to be in it with us, to risk everything, to share our human life, and in that bring to us the capacity to share what it means, like, means to be like God, to be bringers of joy, light, justice, and hope. The waiting is almost over. The day is almost here. There is nothing quite like the moment before we receive that gift we always wanted. We know we're going to get it. It's been promised before the beginning of time. We asked for it in the depths of our heart where our soul cries out for God. We can see it lying there in the tree that holds him, helped by a handful of, or two of straw. It's the right shape, squidgy, ten fingers, ten toes. It makes the right sound when we hold it, gurgling and contrary to popular opinion, a bit of crying he definitely does make. It's the right size, for which I'm sure his mother was eternally grateful. Perfect. The excitement is almost unbearable. The waiting is over. The day is here. Merry Christmas. If you're comfortable to do so, please stand as we affirm our faith. Let us affirm our faith in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Though he was divine, he did not cling to equality with God, but made himself nothing. Taking the form of a slave, he was born in human likeness. He humbled himself and was obedient to death, even the death of the cross. Therefore God has raised him on high and given him the name above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow and every voice proclaim that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Please do be seated for our prayers. At the end of each section of prayer, just a short section of prayer, um, I will say, Holy God, uh, please would you respond, hear our prayer. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Father, in this holy night, your Son, our Saviour, was born in human flesh. Renew your church as the body of Christ. Holy God, hear our prayer. In this holy night, there was no room for your son in the upper room. Protect with your love those who have no home and all who live in poverty. Holy God, hear our prayer. In this holy night, Mary, in the pain of labor, brought your son to birth. Hold in your hand all who are in pain or distress. Holy God, hear our prayer. In this holy night, your Christ came as a light shining in the darkness. Bring comfort to all who suffer in the sadness of our world. 
Holy God, hear our prayer. In this holy night, the angels sang, peace to God's people on earth. Strengthen those who work for peace and justice in all the world, and especially tonight, we do think of Israel-Palestine, and we ask for a miracle in that place. Holy God, hear our prayer. In this holy night, shepherds in the field heard good tidings of joy. Give us grace to preach the gospel of Christ's redemption. Holy God, hear our prayer. In this holy night, strangers found the holy family and saw the baby lying in the manger. Bless our homes and all whom we love. Holy God, hear our prayer. In this holy night, Heaven is come down to earth, and earth is raised to heaven. Hold in your hand all who have passed through death in the hope of your coming kingdom. Holy God, hear our prayer. In this holy night, Christians the world over celebrate Christ's birth. Open our hearts that he may be born in us today. Holy God, hear our prayer. Father, in this holy night, angels and shepherds worshiped at the manger throne. Receive the worship we offer in fellowship with Mary, Joseph, and the saints through him who is your word made flesh, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. If you're comfortable to do so, please stand as we share Christ's peace with one another. Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and his name shall be called the Prince of Peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let's share a sign of peace. Peace be with you. 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 Peace be with you, Joanne. It's Jody. Hi, nice to see you. <laughs> Peace be with you. <laughs> Peace be with you. That's my. Elders. I did think so. You can see your resemblance. Yeah. I love that.
So this is uh, the first Eucharist of Christmas. Come and drink bread and wine. Bread alone, if you prefer, or a prayer of blessing. You're most welcome. Word made flesh, life of the world. In your incarnation, you embraced our poverty. By your spirit, may we share in your riches. Amen. The Lord is here. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. All glory and honour be yours always and everywhere. Mighty Creator, ever-living God, we give you thanks and praise for your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, who for love of our fallen race humbled himself and on this night was born of the Virgin Mary by the power of your Spirit and lived as one of us. In this mystery of the Word made flesh, you have caused his light to shine in our hearts, to give knowledge of your glory in the face of Jesus Christ. In him we see our God made visible, and so are caught up in the love of the God we cannot see. Therefore, with all the angels of heaven, we lift our voices to proclaim the glory of your name and sing our joyful hymn of praise. Do be seated. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, 
and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption as we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. We bring before you this bread and this cup and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we in the company of all the saints may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Rejoicing in the presence of God here among us, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break the bread of life, and that life is the light of the world. God here among us, light in the midst of us, bring us to light and life. Christ is the true bread which has come down from heaven. Lord, give us this bread all.